This, this is the person who's got a sticky business. Real sticky. This, this is a person that everybody loves to love. This a person that you, you know, you, you just, you, you, when you get around them, it, it brightens up your day. You can see a smile coming from around the corner. <laughs> right? It's a person that when you, when you talk about just having that affectionate spirit, you wouldn't even know his age unless he told you because, you know, he's, he's, he's so positive, so, you know, he's so educated, so, you know, beyond his years because he's a great student. He's come to this company in a short period of time at a vast and nice size organization that spans all around the country. They get in and they stay in. Because they love him, but they love his wife, Michelle, and Michelle more than they love him. But at, at, at the end of the day, they love him both, right? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Mr. Mr. Runner called me. This guy, you know, when you, when you see him speak, you know he's speaking from the heart. He's on point 100% of the time with the message because the message always rings out clear. We care enough to tell you the truth. We want you to join us. He, when he's teaching, he's, he's teaching from the heart. When he's teaching, he's teaching from all his notes. This is a guy who's mastered the cash cow, mastered you know, all the four steps. He's mastered everything, holds some bugs, and has taught him. This is a person who's done so well in this business and at a young age, showed the maturity to go out there and take what he's learned and, 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 and put it to use which is respect, ultimate level of respect is go do what you're taught to where he now gets counseled and mentored on a weekly basis by the top person in the industry. Everybody say the top. The top. You gotta be special to have that type of access. You gotta be special to go in a company and within you know, 12 months put your family in a position where they never have to worry about money again before they're 30. This is the person right now. Think about this. Some of us will think back when we were 30. I ain't talking about some young people here. <laughs> Craig, think about what your money would have been like. Man, Craig, before you were 30. Before you were 30. Have a breast, you make one. Before you were 30. Mm. Silas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> years ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. 30 years old. Not 30 yet. What if the person that sponsored you was right? What if they told you the truth? 100% the truth. Truth, 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 whole truth, nothing but the truth. What if they told you that you can come in here and you can name your price and if you did everything that they actually asked you to do and coach you to do, that you would be done? And on the rights of you. And that's the one thing Brad Schumacher has understood. He figured out Mr. Bugs was right. And he figured out that Michelle and his two sons would have the best life ever. And he's worked hard, traveling. If you look at the event, our OJ events, he's all around the world. YouTube, Mr. YouTube. If you look at Twitter, I mean, he's Trey Buck, Tweedle Lee Lee. <laughs> Trey Buck, right, right. Follow me. Yeah, that, that's Mr. Follow Me. He's on purpose, on point, and he's on top of the short. So, everybody, please stand to your feet and give a warm applause.
of mine and uh, closer friends of my wife now. Uh, you know, Kim, me, and my wife have uh, just turned into some incredible friends, and that's really what this business is all about, uh, is, is really creating lifelong relationships. And uh, I think we should right now stand up one more time and give it up for Mr. Sam and Kim B.
then, of course, I can't forget Miss Andrea Blackley. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Andrea Blackley.
Guess what? That's the mission. Good. Okay? And I'm going to touch base on that before I close out. But what I want to share with you guys today is the three vital signs. If you master these three vital signs and all the different uh, independent structures of each one of them, guess what happens? Your business will absolutely fly. Okay? The first one that I'm going to talk about is going to be showing the plan. You heard Mr. David Emanitia cover this over and over and over again. I actually sat down at La Pete with Mr. Bugs. I still have the calendar where he wrote in the calendar what I needed to do. I got the game plan. Guess what? I didn't execute the game plan. But I watched a very good friend of mine, one of my best friends in the whole entire world, Mr. David Emanitia, fill two of these calendars up. Actually, they weren't these. They were like this, but we didn't have OG Monthly Achievers back then. I watched him fill two of these up. And you know what happened when he filled two of these up? He filled two stories of a million-dollar house full of successful people that are going to go diamond and beyond last night. That's what happened when he filled these two up. So the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to be a master at booking out this calendar. I don't have time to do a calendar training. But here's the deal. Showing the plan. How many people are showing the plan? That's the first vital sign. How many people are showing the plan? Not how many people, like Mr. Bean said, are talking about showing the plan. How many people are actually showing the plan? And not only that, but how many people can back it up by opening their calendar and sitting with you and saying, this is what I'm doing. Right. Okay? I had a gentleman call me just the other day and said, well, Mr. Shoemaker, we've got, we've, got a small, we've got a small problem, which I already knew it's not a problem because he said that, right? And he went on to tell me, you know, this is what happened in XYZ, and the very first question that I told him, or the very first thing that I told him when he asked that question was, the first challenge is, is that you're coming to me with a challenge without even processing or looking for a solution, Okay? So this calendar here is, is giving us options of solutions as to what you may be lacking or what may need to be improved. And so I don't care if you have one or two CJNs. Some people won't go buy a calendar because you already know you're not going to go put anything in it. <laughs> but here's the deal. Somebody said it earlier, I'm not sure who it was, but be honest with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. Go If you're really serious about winning, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be successful in this company. If you make a commitment, don't lie to anybody. If it's one CDA a week in the beginning, go buy a calendar if you're committed. So when you sit down with your person or your upline and your coach, that they already know what the deal is. Okay, they already know, you know, wait, look, you're not even showing a plan. Fill that back up. A lot of the challenges and problems that many of you think you may have, it's because you don't have enough things in your calendar. It's not because they're not in there, it's because you don't have enough that you can even put in there even if you were putting it in there. <laughs> so if you don't go through enough activity, you're not even going through enough numbers to create an average. Right? right. So you've got you to fill this calendar up. Okay? That's the very first thing. Next thing is events. What is this? Ticket. A ticket to what? An event. An event. Okay? All major decisions are made at an event. Okay? Guess what? A CJM is an event. A weekly CJM is an event. But because you don't have to spend $15 or $30 every single week mentally, you don't put any value on it. Guess what? You know who's putting the value on it? The entire Latino community. Yes. Every weekly meeting is an event. They put a value on that event. They applaud the guests. They applaud distributors that bring guests. Some of you in the English market are doing it as well, but guess what? We've got to embrace that and understand that every weekly meeting is an event. Yeah. And guess what you do from every event? You BAM fam, right? BAM fam, what does BAM fam stand for? A mating from a mating. So you use that event to BAM fam to the next event, okay? And it doesn't even have to be necessarily a bigger event. It could be a home CJM that they can get a few people started and you say, hey, imagine if you get started.
started tonight. You invite a few friends. We're going to be over at, you know, Johnny and Susie's house, and you bring your few friends over there. It's the same information because guess what? With this brand new coffee that pays, we don't even talk. We just let Mr. Bugs do all the presenting for us by pushing play. Guess what? I love saving my vocal cords now because I just push play and get to paint the vision at the end. Yeah, yeah. You know how easy that is? Okay, this is the this is the best tool, video opportunity overview I've ever seen in the entire industry. Period. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. I believe that. In English and in Spanish and in Greek. Yeah. They're all off the hook. There's no reason to complicate this. You don't need to study the slideshow. You don't need to study the flip chart. You need to go put the people in front of the information. Okay? Yes. That's all you need to do. So that's the second thing is events. You gotta learn to ban fan, book a meeting from a meeting. Use the events. Okay? Use the events. Next thing is tools. Okay? So how many people are showing the plan was number one? Number two, how many people are attending events? One quick thing I want to point out on how many people are attending events, you need to make sure you're documenting it. What we do after a while, we get in the business, and when we get in, remember, when you're brand new in the business, what are you doing? You're, you're writing every single name down that you know is coming, because you're excited about it. You're like, man, I'm going to write this name down. I know Johnny's coming. He's bringing this person. He's bringing that person. You wrote it down. Then you go Sapphire. Well, Johnny's bringing a couple people. Susie's bringing a couple people, right? And so and so is bringing a couple people, I think, right? Then you go Ruby. And you're like, yeah, of course Johnny's coming out. Yeah, I'm sure he's bringing about 10 people. What happens is you're getting complacent. You think you still know the number, but the, re the reality is you don't even know what's going on within that number. You don't know that number is growing or dying. You just simply know a number. Right. So what you've got to do is you've got to understand not only what the number is, but you've got to understand where it's coming from, who's shrunk, who's grown in their numbers, so that you can dissect the business so you not only know where to work, but you know how to work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay? So that's, that's the power of how many people are attending events. The third and last thing is how many tools are flowing through your organization? How many tools are flowing through your organization? The number one tool outside of, well, first of all, what's the number one tool? Coffee. Coffee. That's easy. <laughs> The number one tool, guys, if you notice, if you buy every single tool in Organo Gold, you can purchase it for, I think, you can purchase it for two people for like less than 100 bucks with the new awesome kits that we have, okay? But the cash cow, you need to make sure you get a cash cow. You need to make sure you have the coffee that pays. I talked about that. But the last tool that I really want to hit on, okay, is the Success From Home magazine. Right now, I am you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in here. So don't use the excuse that, well, of course you use it because you're in there. I don't even show me. You know who I show? My friend, 29 years old, just bought a million dollar home. After 20 months in the business, bought a Bentley GTS and an S550 cash money. Yeah. Yes, sir. And he just parks it now in his brand new million dollar house that he spent a quarter of a million dollars furnishing it. With custom furniture. Dave, I hope you don't mind me saying that. Sorry about that. But here's the deal, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling the story. I'm talking about a gentleman from Honduras that, that got deported 17 times coming in this country so he could take advantage of the opportunity. I'm telling these stories. You've got to use this. You don't need a flip chart. You don't even really need to call me that page. Because you can just use the magazine telling stories. The book that I keep hearing about, everybody referencing up here, the book that so many of us read, guess what? It's full of stories. So if you become a master storyteller, you will inspire people to take action so that they can participate in the opportunity that you represent. Okay? So this right here is one of my favorite tools because I can use this all day long. And guess what? Give it away. We gotta have an investment mentality. If you have tools, if you're running a business, go as a business owner, not only do they have to buy 500 measly dollars worth of coffee every month, but they have to buy $100 in tools. Think about it. Or $200 of tools, 300, right? Leaders, us leaders, we buy much more than that because we understand that you guys don't necessarily understand this fast enough and we wanna be prepared for your lack of understanding. 
I mean, that's the truth, and that's okay. But what I want to encourage you to do is understand it now. Understand that you need to invest in your business. Feel good about giving it away. Don't be all tight like, oh, man, I don't want to give it, you know. Because when you plant that seed and you're like, uh, guess what? It doesn't go deep in the soil and it kind of sits up there. <laughs> but if you like feel good about it and you have this resolve of regardless if this comes out, guess what? Where you plant may not always be where you harvest. Okay? So all you've got to do is get good at planting and sticking it way down and feeling good about it. Okay? So invest in your business. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm so fired up. I'm so excited about where the company's going. I can literally stand up here forever. But this is what you got to do. You've got to make everything else wait. What happened when we got involved in this business, everything else had to wait. My wife wasn't on board. You guys know the story. I'm not going to go through it right now. But everything else had to wait. And right now, Ms. Kim Bean gave all of you married folks the secret. You need to sit your partner down and have a conversation with them and say, babe, hon, whatever it is, everything else is going to have to wait. But don't make them wait if you're not willing to deliver. Yes. Okay? Come on. When I got involved in this business, I said everything else has to wait, but I knew I was willing to deliver. I knew I was going to do not my best, not I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And I didn't even know whatever it took. That's why we just were going crazy. I didn't even look at what was going on. I didn't know nothing about four steps. All I knew is I didn't get this information in this coffee and in front of as many people as possible, as fast as possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So you, you've got to be you've got to be passionate about this. The Latino organization, guess what? They're passionate. I appreciate everything that they've done because Organo Gold would not be the company that it is right now without what they've done. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for my good friend, Mrs. Suleiman. Yeah. Yeah. 